In areas having tooth loss, if the neighboring teeth have adequate bone support, an option for replacing the missing teeth can include a fixed tooth supported bridge. This is a non-removable method of attaching replacement teeth to the natural teeth. A fixed bridge relies entirely upon the foundation of the teeth immediately adjacent to the missing teeth. The neighboring teeth that are going to be used as anchors have to be reduced by grinding to make room for caps or crowns to be fit over the anchor teeth. These caps or crowns will then be made to attach to the artificial teeth all as one unit. This type of bridge can look and feel much like natural teeth, and patients that have this type of tooth replacement can do very well. The cosmetics with fixed bridges can be very good in many cases, but can also have a drawback. If you have a high smile line and you have any significant tissue loss in the area of the missing teeth, cosmetic corrective action should be taken. Tissue loss can be corrected with a tissue graph before the fixed bridge is made, and excellent cosmetics can result, but this needs to be diagnosed before prosthetic treatment is initiated. The drawbacks that exist for this type of prosthesis are mainly that the neighboring teeth have to be ground down in order to have this type of bridge fitted, and crowns or caps have to be made for the teeth adjacent to the space with missing teeth. That the bone and tissue in the area of the missing teeth can continue to be lost since there is no direct stimulation to the bone in the area of missing teeth, and that this type of bridge can be prone to decay in the anchoring teeth that can compromise a long-term prognosis for the bridge. Another type of fixed bridge is a bonded or Maryland bridge. This type of bridge is fixed by making the artificial one or two teeth with metal wings or tabs that will allow the bridge to be cemented to the neighboring teeth. The thin metal tabs contact the neighboring teeth on the inside or tongue side. The cosmetics with this type of bridge can again be very good, but the aesthetic concerns that would apply to a conventional fixed bridge would also apply to a Maryland bridge. The main advantage to the Maryland bridge is that this type of bridge does not require the neighboring teeth to be ground down as much in order to fit this type of bridge. But it also has a drawback in that the Maryland bridge has a tendency to become uncemented. About 25% of these bridges become uncemented within five years. In areas having one or two teeth replaced with a fixed bridge, the continued bone and tissue loss that occurs as a result of there being no bone stimulation is minimal. If there are more than two missing teeth, the bone and tissue loss in the area of the missing teeth can require that the bridge be replaced at some time. A fixed bridge can be an excellent way to replace missing teeth, both from the standpoint of the way it can feel like teeth and look like teeth. The most significant limitation, when suggested in an appropriate case, is the decay factor. This type of bridge, both in conventional fixed bridge and the Maryland bridge, relies on neighboring teeth entirely, and if they decay, the bridge needs to be replaced in most cases. Studies show that one out of four fixed bridges typically fail within the first 10 years that the bridge is in function. Of course, bridge failures cause even more discomfort and more dental-related costs.